The bishop in Illinois has issued a nine-page homily to be read at every mass throughout his diocese. In it, he expresses his fury about recent clergy abuse scandals. Bishop Thomas Paprocki says in part, quote, the reaction to hearing this convergence of distressing reports has been very understandable. Anger and even outrage on the part of many people, including myself. Joining me now is Bishop Thomas John Paprocki of the Diocese of Springfield in Illinois. Bishop Paprocki, welcome to the program. Thank you. Good to be with you. In your homily this weekend, you spoke of the, quote, horrifying abuse and neglect of authority among some priests and bishops of the church in our own country. Bishop Richard Malone of Buffalo has said he will not resign. Are resignations in order? Well, I think that uh, question is maybe something that needs to be looked at a little further down the line. I think right now is we need information. We need an explanation of what has taken place. We have this uh, testimony from the former Apostolic Nuncio, Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano. And, uh, you know, he says that uh, he uh, told uh, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, in 2013 uh, about uh, the misconduct of uh, uh, our, of Cardinal McCarrick and uh, that the Holy Father did uh, not act on that and, uh, in fact, covered it up. And so he also cites documents that he says are on file at the Apostolic Nunciature in Washington or at the Congregation uh, for Bishops uh, in Rome. So I think that uh, it would be good for those who have those documents uh, to come forward with them and um, for those who, who know uh, about the matters about which Archbishop Vigano is speaking for them to uh, to give us uh, a full explanation of what took place. What is it you think the Vatican should be releasing? I'm not necessarily saying that just open up all the files. I could understand there are certain documents and, and those procedures that they want to keep under pontifical secret fine. But on the other hand, uh, is there some information that they could share with us, even if it's not just opening all the files, is there some information mm -hmm. where they could say, well, this is here, here's what we know and this is what happened. I want to focus on Illinois. Last month, Attorney General Lisa Madigan launched an inquiry into Catholic dioceses in the state. She's looking for unreported cases of clergy misconduct. You have pledged your diocese's full cooperation with law enforcement officials. To what extent will you open your files regarding allegations of sexual assault and abuse in Springfield? I'm willing to share that information as I explained to the Attorney General, she was asking, do we have secret files? I said, well, there, there were maybe some information in those files that I would call restricted. For example, uh, uh, matters that are protected by privacy laws, such as mental health information, psychological uh, information or evaluations. I can't share that uh, because it's uh, prohibited by law without the person's consent. But in terms of allegations against uh, clergy of uh, any criminal activity or sexual uh, abuse. Uh, we'll make that information uh, public. And, and the time that I've been bishop here since 2010, there's only been one allegation against a priest currently in ministry. He was publicly removed. Uh, that information was made public. It was reported to the authorities. So that's the way we've been operating and the way we'll continue to uh, operate. Before I let you go, there are two groups in the church who are being left behind, overshadowed by some finger pointing, many would say. And that is holy priests and bishops and yes. the victims. Your yes. message to those people. Well, my message to, to victims is that we uh, will do everything that we can to, uh, first of all, uh, listen to you, to investigate the allegations, to make sure that we do not have any clergy that are in positions uh, the uh, of uh, uh, being a danger to anyone, and at the same time uh, to those uh, our faithful who are coming to our churches who may feel very discouraged, uh, dispirited, perhaps even feel that their faith is uh, in question now, I would say to them the important thing is uh, not uh, the, the faith in an institution. Jesus calls us to faith in him. We are called to faith in Jesus Christ. The institution, the church, is not an end in itself. It is uh, a means, and it's our way to get to heaven, and our Lord has given us the church, and he's given us the clergy to help the, the faithful on their path to heaven. Bishop Thomas John Paprocki of the Diocese of Springfield in Illinois, thank you so much for your perspective and for joining us. You're welcome.